New at 10, oh, the places you go. A Dr. Seuss book most of us have heard of is about one's journey toward their dream. Its basic theme is it isn't easy, but nothing is. And as long as you push through the, the lows, you can achieve it. KTVO's newest reporter, Jackson Saylor, tells you the story of one man's journey, which is longer than most. A dream, although they're synonymous with clouds, don't materialize out of thin air. They're often generated through life experiences through what we enjoy most. Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, joined a hiking and survival club, uh, something that I really enjoyed, really loved. And while I was there, I heard about a woman that was walking across the country. And uh, I heard her story and thought it was the coolest thing ever and decided then and there that I wanted to do it too. Like the book says, not everything goes as planned. So Sean Clancy added a special chapter to his story. I wanted to do this trip back when I was in high school, um, but a week after I graduated, I ended up tearing my ACL. Um, so I had some time to think about the trip and realized that there's about 49 other people that have walked across the country before, and I wanted to find a way to be unique and do it so that no one else has ever done it before. So I settled on eating only one type of food, and uh, Subway made the most sense with the amount of uh, shops they have and uh, the nutritional value of the food. Clancy began this countrywide hike of approximately 3,000 miles on May 1st when he left his hometown of Lowell, Massachusetts. Along the way, he's been forced to stay in places like this. because of certain restrictions that prevent him from walking alongside certain roads. He was in Kirksville, Missouri on day 72, and as he's closing in on the halfway point, Subway Sean is still going strong. I'm feeling good. Um, I've been averaging about 23 miles a day. The legs are holding up. I'm holding up physically, mentally. Um, I got live stream the whole trip, so generally I'm not alone. I got people I'm talking to, and it keeps me sane. While crossing the nation on foot remains the dream, Clancy's goal along the way is one that is near and dear to his heart. Sean is teaming up with Big City Mountaineers, which is a nonprofit organization that aims to help underprivileged children get involved with nature. Well, my goal right away is to make it to Santa Monica, obviously get across. Um, but if I can, like I said, raise some money for some of these kids and really help them out uh, in an area where they might need some help, it uh, would really make me feel good and uh, really, I think, be a good thing in general. Sean's journey that began about 30 miles north of Boston will finish up in Santa Monica, California. While Sean's story still has yet to feature chapters on the Rocky Mountains and the Mojave Desert, once the final page is turned, he'll get what all dreamers dream of, a dream come true. Uh, definitely tired. Uh, I joke around that when I get there, I'm going to get a hoverboard and I'm not going to walk for the next three months afterwards. <laughs> but uh, hopefully a sense of uh, accomplishment and, and uh, a feeling that I've done something worth doing. When all is said and done, Sean Clancy will serve as living proof that no matter how big the dream, if you navigate the peaks and valleys correctly, Correctly, you'll go to some amazing places. And in Sean's case, a whole bunch of subways. Have a safe trip. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Jackson Saylor. Clancy headed out of Kirksville on Tuesday. He estimates he'll arrive in Santa Monica sometime in October. Coming up next.